a craftsman perfecting his work. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, do good for Allah love those who do good. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Industry has a great significance and a high status. It is the basis of their renaissance. It is the basis of renaissance and development of nations. With the prosperity of industry, employment opportunities increases, economic progress is achieved, and living conditions becomes better. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one, find, uh, one finds clear reference to many industries, emphasizing their value and importance. The Almighty Allah said, do good, for Allah loves those who do good. Allah also said, children of Adam, we have given you garments to cover your nakedness and as a dormant for you. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it is Allah. It is Allah who has given you garments to protect you from the heat and garments to protect you in your wars. Allah also said, they made for him whatever he wanted, palaces, statues, basins as large as water thrusts. They made for him whatever he wanted, Palaces, statues, basins as large as water, thrusts, fixed cauldrons. Allah also said, and Allah has made you homes, a place to rest, and has given you tent from the height of animals, light to handle when you travel and when you can. And out of their wool, fur, and hair, he has given you furnishings, and goods for a while. It was out of the significance and value of industry that some of the prophets and messengers who are the best of mankind were people of crafts. And they were examples in skills and mastery of their crafts. Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, was working in ship building. Prophet Noah, Peace be upon him, was working in shipbuilding. Allah, glory be to him, said, Build the ark under our watchful eye and with our inspiration. Prophet David, peace be upon him, was a blacksmith. The Almighty Allah said, We taught him how to make coats of mail for the benefit of you people to protect you in your wars, but are you grateful for this? Also, Prophet Zechariah, peace be upon him, was a carpenter. And our Prophet وسلم, said, Zechariah was carpenter. Excellence, quality, and perfection are the most important qualities that manufacturer must have. Excellence, quality, and perfection are the most important qualities that a manufacturer ha must have. The Almighty Allah draws our attention to perfection of work. As He the Most High has created everything with the best perfection. Allah says, that is the design of Allah who has perfected everything He created. Allah made it obligatory for us to perform everything in a best way, saying, do good. Do good for Allah love those who do good. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, Verily, Allah has prescribed ihsan. Verily, Allah has prescribed ihsan, proficiency or perfection in all things. During the time of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there have been number of crafts and industries part of which we recorded 
by Abu Hassan Al Khuzai in his book تخريج الدلالات السماعية على ما كان في عهد الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم من الحرف والصنائع والعملات والعملات الشرعية in his book the evidence for crafts industries and professions during the time of the messenger of Allah peace be upon him these crafts include those who were specialized in medicine during the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, tailors, carpenters, blacksmiths, jewelries, boulders, and traders. The book consists of two chapters, one for crafts and the other one for industries. An excellent manufacturer an excellent manufacturer is motivated by his faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to improve his work and to excel in it. Allah, glory be to him, said, In whatever matter you profit may engage, and whatever part of the Quran you're reciting, whatever work you people are doing, we witness you. We witness you when you are engaged in it. Not even the weight of a speck of dust in the earth or sky escapes your Lord, nor anything lesser or greater. It is all written in a clear record. Allah also said, Say, Prophet, take action. God will see your actions as well as his messenger and the believers. And then you will be returned to him who knows what is seen and unseen, and he will tell you what you have been doing. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah loves when someone performs an act to perfect it. One of the signs of mastery of a manufacturer is the speed of completing his work to deliver, to deliver it on time. This is the case of a maker in civilized societies. The fulfillment of a manufacturer work on time is a good quality that is indicate self-honor and determination. The Almighty Allah says, honor your bludges. You will be questioned about your bludges. Allah commanded us to fulfill our bludges and pra praise the believer for these characteristics and praise the believers for these characteristics. Saying, you who believe, honor your, your obligations. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all world. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, his companions and followers. We affirm such an excellent manufacturer is motivated by his religious sense. He must also motivated by national sense as well. His love for his homeland and his faith in the necessity of advancing it should drive him to perfect his work and achieve excellence. Our precious homeland, Egypt, faces a critical stage of its history and this requires all of us to work diligently and sincerely for Re re renaissance, renaissance for the renaissance of the homeland and its progress for the renaissance of the homeland and its progress everyone has to work everyone has to work hard and perfect their work for the sake of Allah and our nation will only advance through the work of everyone we also affirm we also affirm that people will not respect our religion unless we excel in, our, in the affairs of our world. When we achieve progress in our worldly affairs, others will respect our religion and worldly life. A strong economy means having a prestigious country that is respecting, that is respected and self-sufficient and this is what our dear Egypt is doing in our new republic. We ask Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save our country Egypt and all other countries of the world.
Thank you.